My dearest Teresa, oh how very awkward of the state loan company to make it very difficult to accept an early repayment. The public sector being, disastrous is always a motto perhaps. I see Teresa, a bit of a pickle, okay you can transfer it into my account for now if you so wished. Maybe if your educators did not prejudice and discriminate me because of my gender, sex and age notwithstanding a DBS for a criminalized act known as protesting against tyranny you might have been surprised at how well I would have developed by now regardless of employment compatibility professional or otherwise. Employment is not the university's concern. I was going to America or Canada anyway. The NHS. Do not make me laugh up my cornflakes. I wanted to see the world. It is against the law to steal a citizen's education for any reason and certainly because of some irrational concern of subjective incompatibility which derives wholly from a ridiculously concentrated stereotypical sexist stance on or resentment against masculine, testosterone, heterosexual men in nursing. The passive-aggressive approach often hides this phenomenon but to withdraw someone for nothing remotely reasonable, nobody died, is gender-biased discrimination. I do not believe any learning curve has come of this trifle mess caused by politically correct ideals to bolster career-empowered professionals who hug and close rank when there is any wrongdoing, more corruption. In a word Teresa, Middlesex used and abused me in the name of a feminist, nurse, a gender that can be proved with statistics. The nursing faculty stole my education and precious years. They could not leave the false equality, we are different but all the same, woke ideals at home because they feel a sense to act out some sort of social justice for their immediate owners, sponsors, funders, authorities, lords, ladies even aristocracy that have endorsed, regarded and hired them. I blame the class system for this unnecessary wasted disturbance in my life. Just look at Boris Johnson if you do not believe me. Pathological liar but he will at no time voluntarily leave office and no one can withdraw him because he is a powerful aristocrat with connections. The class system underlines the acute problems of our damned democracy at no time developing into a republic or fair system for all. There was my support and nurturing. Why did Carol Graves take six months to mark an essay down to 10 out of 80? Was that a message? We do not want to teach you, you do not belong here. This is not education worth my time or investment when self-serving arrogant people like Carol Graves are in charge of entire faculties. University, are you for real? The funding you receive does not justify this clueless behavior by staff. To close rank is so lame and the most unprofessional behavior, never mind my initiated professionalism, like expecting it from the beginning, as if, talk about the school playground politics. Why was I disrespected and blatantly treated like rubbish Teresa? Is it because I am a nobody? Easy to bully and push around. Why was I left to my own devices? Where was the support and mentoring? They were under overpaid then. What education? Carol Graves disappeared all the time, defend or save me, you must be joking, she could not wait to jump on my back and data gather for anything trivia that could be twisted into something negative, what was her problem Teresa? Carol Graves has to resign. She cannot continue in education, this will eventually come to pass because the reputation of the university comes first. Nearly 200 million a year just in gate receipts and you cannot keep your s hash pound t together is absolutely diabolical, so you went from a state-funded charity polytechnic to call yourself business university, how very strange and stupid to market a state-funded place of education as a thriving business at the taxpayer's expense. How dare you deceive the public. Bizarre, completely moronic to assume profit like this and withdraw to cause debt and unemployment in societies most vulnerable like it is just, normal and right. Wrong. Enlightened, I know now. Educators were shaking their heads over FaceTime and did not even know me from September 2020. That was weird. I just wanted to be educated not scapegoated. The collective mental attitude was insidious and disgusting for so-called healthcare professionals. No one is worthy of treating I. No one understood the ethics and morals being violated. No one, Teresa, do you? I very much doubt it. Money talks right. Yes. Would Middlesex have dared to withdraw Boris Johnson not if the board of directors wanted the university defunded and blacklisted as a bad investment for influences and government institutions? The reason the nursing faculty acted hysterically foolish, this is a fact and can be identified in their behavior and emails. No empathy or sympathy Teresa too, it is okay I am used to being uncared for and emotionally deprived, I get it now society has their favorites, cheers for betraying yourself. You cannot take a train off its track without it becoming broken from the redundancy, so expect this response. Embrace it for all the other deliberately neglected and obscured students that have tolerated it over the decades. Yours sincerely. GM who was illegally removed from education because he was not feminine enough for the pro-feminist women in charge who want to keep nursing pretty, young and above all female and could at no time make babies. Nice one uni from hell.